had a little wolf issue there while traveling, which is what happens in Red Dead Redemption 2. Brad Proprietor, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 locations video. Red Dead Redemption 2 is very, very rich with things to find, locations, etc. And that was the biggest mistake I made when I first played, is I just kind of went along with the story missions, didn't do a lot of exploring, and when I did, it was a little late because Arthur Morgan already had tuberculosis. I decided not to repeat that. And I wanted to adventure around the world of Red Dead Redemption 2, make some videos that people will appreciate, and hopefully show other locations that people might find, like this one, the faces in the trees. Arthur Morgan writes, found these faces carved into the tree, wonder what they were trying to tell me, if anything. Yes, this is the mysteries of locations in Red Dead Redemption 2. And you gotta walk around and explore to find them. The next location I'm going to show you, I had to wander around. It's nearby, but very difficult to look and find. So, yeah, I'm going to cut to that and then show you on the map where the next location is after I've found it. Whale bones, which is not too far from the faces in the tree. And I'm going to show you on the map. There's the whale bone. And then the faces in the tree is actually where my horse is located. They're not too far from each other. And then there is the next location, which I'm going to look for, which is nearby. And I'm going to show you a little bit, hopefully. It's the Pagan Altar. I am using a guidebook, and here we go, the Pagan Altar. It's not exactly where I placed the location. Pagan Ritual. Sorry about that. But the next location is an obelisk, and it's actually not too far from the Pagan Ritual, where I'm going to place the location. Yeah, it should be real close. I did get this a little more accurate, and I'm going to take you to the obelisk. Arthur Morgan just does a drawing of the obelisk, and I forgot to read the inscription on the obelisk. But on the map, there is another, I wasn't too, I was close on my waypoint, but there is an Indian burial ground, and it's not too far away from these other locations. And I'm going to take you to the Indian burial ground. Arthur Morgan writes, 
think this place was an Indian burial ground. Yeah. Again, these are just some interesting locations. They're not too far away from each other. I was a little off on my waypoint. But if you look, these are five very interesting locations that are around an area I've traveled to the far west as I can go without getting into trouble. And yeah, this is what I like about Red Dead Redemption is places to find locations just very rich environment. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Please feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week. In regards to video games, you want to hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed. And yes, I also do post some shorts. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.